Hello my friends and welcome on Top Topics channel. Today we would like to talk about the extinction of a popular dinosaurs. It is generally known that the extinction began with the impact of the giant asteroid. However, in this video we will explain you that the asteroid was only the initiator of the whole process that led to extinction. So yeah, enjoy! Hello my friends and welcome to Top Topics channel. In today's video we are going to talk about the worst day in Earth's history. So grab your popcorn and here we go. Scientists have a record of the worst day in Earth's history, certainly the worst in 66 million years. In the form of a 130 meter long column of rocks, they have drilled from the bedrock of the Gulf of Mexico. These are sediments that accumulated when a huge meteorite hit the planet. Scientists believe it caused the end of the reptile era and the beginning of the mammal era. Valuable testimony was obtained by a team led by scientists from American and British universities, which in 2016 spent several weeks drilling into the remainings of a crater created from the impact. At present, the 200 km wide crater is located on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, from which the best preserved parts are located in the sea near the coast at the port of Chicxulub. Over 100 meters long part of the obtained column of rocks documents the first day of the period, which geologists refer to as the Mamla era. In the first part of the core, which is 20 meters long, fragments of glass predominate. These are rocks melted by high pressure and temperatures created by the impact of the meteorite, which spilled over the newly formed crater in the first seconds to minutes after the impact. Glass is replaced by fragments of molten rocks. It is the result of explosions caused by water which quickly cooled the rock. The area of impact was then covered by a shallow sea, which receded on impact, but soon flowed back again and triggered a violent reaction on contact with hot rock. A similar phenomenon occurs when lava flows from the volcano into the sea. This phase lasted up to an hour. The meteorite caused a waves followed by a tsunami. All sediments in the last part of the obtained sample are curved to the same side and their arrangement indicates that they were caused by tremendous force. Scientists say the impact of the meteorite caused waves that hit the coast hundreds of kilometers away from the crater. Tsunamis move as fast as a jet plane. 24 hours is enough time for waves to wash away and bounce back. After the impact of the asteroid, the Earth's crust was disrupted and then sulfur leaked. Sulfur killed dinosaurs. However, the scientific team did not find any sulfur in the core. Its absence surprised them because the meteorite hit the seabed, which is made up of a third to a half of minerals containing this element, such as gypsum. Sulfur had to be released into the atmosphere, which supports the widespread theory of the causes of dinosaur destruction. If such large amount of sulfur were evaporated into the atmosphere, it would dramatically cool the earth thus worsening the living conditions for a large number of plants and animals.
We launched a global climate model that released only 100 gigatons of sulfur into the atmosphere, which cooled the Earth by 25 degrees for 15 years. Most of the planet's temperatures were below freezing point. A moderate estimate assumes that 325 gigatons of sulfur entered the atmosphere at the time. This is much more than you would get from any volcano. Anakrakata type explosions can also cool the climate down for several years. Mammals survived the catastrophe, dinosaurs did not. We are at the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching guys. We really appreciate it. If you like what we do, give us a like, subscribe and stay tuned for more awesome content. Thank you very much. Bye bye.